Hello, welcome to Recap Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'd like to share with you some great workflows that I've been using on Alfred to improve my productivity. Alfred is a powerful application launcher and productivity application for macOS. Alfred is free, though there is an optional paid upgrade called Power Pack is available. So you have to purchase the Power Pack, which I highly recommend to try out the following workflows. They are extremely helpful to improve my productivity on a daily basis. The first workflow that I like to share here is called VS Code Workflow. To install, all you need to do after you install Alfred software is double click the workflow. That's it, straight and simple. Uh, by the way, I will share my GitHub repository where it stores all the workflows that I'm going to introduce here shortly. All right. Uh, I got this original workflow from this GitHub repository here. But the problem of this version is that it's only compatible with VS Code. So my version is kind of an upgrade on top of it by including IntelliJ and Sublime as well. So here I'm going to show you how to install workflow first. Once you install Alfred, just double click the workflow file uh, like this guy and select a category where you want to store this workflow and click update. That's it. And I already installed this workflow. So I just hit cancel. And here on the Alfred interface, just click workflow and it lists out all the workflows that were installed on your Alfred. And this is the one we're talking about. As you can see on the right side, uh, it also includes uh, IntelliJ and Sublime besides Visual Studio Code. So to activate it, this is how does it work. Uh, all you need to do, just type in the keywords on Alfred, like we hear, code, for IntelliJ, going to be IDEA, and for um, Sublime, going to be ST. Uh, of course, you can modify the keyword to whatever you want just by uh, double click the icon here and you can change the keyword. All right. So let me show you a quick example. Uh, right here, I open like a folder uh, on uh, from Finder and uh, Let's say I'm going to open up these Prometheus operator folder, right? And I wanted to open all the files in this folder by, let's say, we should do code. So all I need to do, just type in code, the keywords in uh, Alfred and hit enter. Here we go. As you can see here, it's automatically open up all the files inside of this folder by uh, Visual Studio Code. All right. And let me cancel it out. And let's say I want to open all this folder uh, on um, Sublime instead. So again, back here, the uh, keyword is ST. So same thing, just type in ST, hit enter. And here we go. You can see all the files were opened by Sublime this time. All right. So this is pretty much how it works. So let's say if you, you don't want to open the whole files in the folder, you just want to open a specific file, you can do that as well. So for example, you just want to open up this alert manager file, just click that and then type in, let's say Sublime, hit enter. Here we go. You see, only this alert manager file uh, was opened by uh, Alfred. That's pretty neat, right? It's, it, it, it's speed up your operation dramatically, right? The second workflow that I like to share here, uh, actually is two workflows that I use them as the combination. The first is called daytime format converter and the second is epoch converter. For example, if you want to add a comment with a timestamp when you're coding, you can just type in DF now uh, after you install this workflow on Alfred and you will quickly get a UTC timestamp with multiple formats available for your choice. 
Uh, let me show example. Again, I'm still going to open up these alert manager file by code, right? So I just type in Visual Studio code. Here we go. And so let's here uh, at this line, I wanted to add a comment with a timestamp right here. Like uh, I wanted to uh, add a, a UTC timestamp, for example. So all I need to do, so I just need to type in DF now. And here we go. It's automatic, automatically generate a UTC timestamp with different uh, format available right here. So here, the first one will be uh, good for me. So I just hit enter and then uh, paste it by uh, control V. And here we go. This is the timestamp. Pretty efficient, right? So if there is a need to convert these timestamp to your local time, um, that's basically the second workflow uh, comes to the picture. So epoch, epoch converter. So all you need to do just type in the keyword TS here. So TS and paste the uh, timestamp you just generated by the other daytime format converter. And here we go. You can see here you got the local time for this time timestamp is pretty useful, right? That's basically the second workflow that I've been using like every single day. The next workflow I'd like to share is called new path. This workflow helps you create new files or directories in the current finder directory real quick. Uh, by the way, these are not the default keywords. I changed the keyword for creating file to touch and creating directory to make dirt to align with the Linux commands, which is easy to remember, right? And this is how it works. So I open up a, a folder in a Finder right here, right? And let's say I want to create a file in this directory. So all I need to do just by uh, typing touch and give the name of the file you want to create, let's say test.log. And here we go. There's a, a file being created right here. And what if I want to create a directory instead? So all you need to do just type in maker and give the name of the directory like test. All right, as you can see, uh, a directory called test was created successfully right here. So this basically what this workflow does is improve your um, productivity by speed up the procedure of creating file or directories. All right, last but not least, the next workflow that I like to share is called Fakem, um, which is used for code testing. Uh, it's pretty common. Uh, you need to generate fake IDs names, emails, you know, all those uh, personal information for your testing, right? Sometimes it's kind of annoying to come up with those information on your own. And that's basically um, where uh, Fakem comes into the picture. It helps you generate random fake information for testing or whatever purposes you had. Um, pretty neat. So let me show you how did it work. Right, so let me quickly open up a random website, for example, DOC, and here we go for login. I need to generate some fake email or password to, uh, you know, for testing login. So if that's the case, like we can do by, uh, we generate a fake email by fakem. Just type in fake and I'm gonna generate a fake email. And here we go. As you can see, it automatically generated a fake video right below, right here. And you can got different uh, options like free email or save email, corporate email. So it gives you options. Pretty neat. And let's say Hotmail is good for me. So I just hit enter. And same thing, you just need to uh, paste it by command V. And here we go. This is the fake email. Just generated by Fakem. Same thing for password. 
So I would do uh, fake again and password. And see here, automatically generate a password right here. Hit enter and paste. All right, that's it. And you can do a lot of other uh, kind of test information, for example, um, uh, bank country code, city, color name, a company, all those stuff is all can be done by fake. It's pretty, pretty useful. All right, we've talked about a couple of useful workflow so far uh, that I think it's been extremely helpful for my use case. Um, but there are still tons of great workflows out there on Google to improve your productivity. Try them out and please do share if you find other awesome workflows, all right? Uh, so for mine, um, you can uh, find and download those workflows that I mentioned earlier uh, from my GitHub repository right here. Uh, feel free to give them a try. Uh, in the end, if you still don't think those workflows are attractive or you don't want to buy PowerPack to give, them those, uh, give those a try, it's okay. But I still believe Alfred is a must-have tool for Mac. Um, besides, you know, those useful basic operations which improve our productivity a lot by Alfred, um, um, there's a one I want to uh, recommend specifically called Snippet, uh, which is also a super handy feature. A good use case is like when you are placing an order online, you are, you know, required to put in your information, right? So, but it will be tedious if you have to do that every single time manually uh, when you purchase something. I know uh, Mac does uh, have that out of view uh, capability by browser, but I found out uh, the out of view by browser sometimes, I don't know, somehow does not work properly. And it turned out you still have to manually type in on your own. So. These snippets helps you uh, with that, and it always works on everywhere, not just broker. Uh, sorry, not just uh, browser, right? So uh, let me show you example. Firstly, you have to create your own snippets. So here, uh, you firstly create a collection. Uh, like my example here, I create a collection called my information, and inside I store some personal information like cell number, email, home address, or whatever. And here we go. So here you can add a whatever uh, information you want and you give them a keyword that basically how to activate on um, uh, 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 off rate, right? And you give the value of that snippet. And then same thing, I'll show example on uh, DLC. So here I need to uh, put in my real uh, email to for, for logging in. Uh, this time. So what I need to do here. So if you uh, back to the Alfred in, um, preference. So here you can enable a view hotkey uh, right here. Or if you don't enable anything, you can still open it up by uh, the uh, shortcuts command plus option plus C. Right. And hit enter. You see all the snippets that you had in your um, Alfred. Here we go. So I'm gonna put in my email and hit enter. And then here we go. And you can see the email address was pasted right here. Is that's basically how we're gonna use um, snippet, snippets. Everything you don't, you don't wanna repeat it typing manually. You can use, you can create a snippet and Alfred will done that for you. All right, that's pretty much what I want to share um, for this session. And thanks for watching ZTalk Tips and Tricks. And I'll see you next time.